Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talks. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today, I one got a package to open, and two, I want to talk about gold and silver, but I want to talk about it from a brand new perspective. Um, I want to specifically talk to the person out there that knows almost nothing about it, essentially. Um, and for some of you guys that have been subscribed to the channel for a long time and you've been building up your stack, then, you know, some of this will be new to you, maybe. Some of it will be, you know, old news. But I think it's important to periodically kind of reflect on stuff and, and really understand why you stack and how bad things could get in a blink of an eye. Because time and time again, I hear people say, um, you know, y'all been preaching that silver was going to go to the moon for a long time now, or, oh yeah, if I bought silver in 1980, where would I be now? I'd be down. You know, yes, there was a window um, where we seen a tremendous peak in silver. And in any investing in anything... Um, you're going to see spikes. You're going to see dr quick drops, you know, just all out plunges in silver. Remember when silver went down to $11? Uh, I can't remember if it was before the pandemic or after. Um, some of y'all remember when silver went up to 29 right after. Uh, it went down to 11 But here's the thing. When it went down to 11 the amount of pressure, buying pressure that was put on it, it spiked it all the way up to 29 Here's the thing. Silver, people are buying silver. They're not slowing down. But why are they buying silver? Why are they buying gold? That's what I want to talk about today. Why have you heard maybe a friend say, I started buying silver? Or, hey, what do you think about gold? Or do you think I'm crazy? I picked up this gold coin. Whatever the case may be. So while I'm opening up this package, we're going to talk a little bit about it. Now, the reason I'm talking about this, it's something that just came up today. I do play a strategy war game. It's called Whiteout Survival. Um, and I actually uh, had a player from another team uh, help me out today on building a building. And as we were making common talk, I said, hey, where are you from? Um, Michigan. And I said, what do you do for work? Uh, and then HR. And then I said, you know, what do you think about silver and gold and the economy? And I, I could tell a lot of people, usually if someone asks me, what do you think about silver? All of a sudden, I get excited. Somebody is asking me what I think about something like that. Um, and if I get a no response or a vague response, then I know that the person don't really know anything about it. And, and here's the thing, people that know absolutely nothing about gold and silver and have none, when they do do a financial reset or when they do roll out a new currency, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a financial reset to do a new currency. They won't call it a financial reset. But those of us that have been stacking silver and gold for a while and we understand inflation, uh, we understand that it, it's essentially a form of a reset. Um, all of a sudden, we're going to use digital currency. Well, there's a lot of cash out there in the system that could be in someone's possession, but what do they do with it? Let's just say the guy that in another country or something that's holding a bunch of dollars and maybe he got them through some illicit means, maybe. Um, how does he turn in millions of dollars instantly in cash? It, it's difficult, uh, especially, you know, when, when they announce, it, you know, you got 30 days to turn your money in. Um, you know, people seen this happen in Venezuela. Now, I, when, when someone says this, you know, you get those cold people out there that are going to be like, this ain't Venezuela. And you're right, it's not. And here's the truth of the matter. It could be worse than Venezuela. Now, I know someone out there is going to be laughing. If you like this video, please help me out. Take a quick minute, hit that subscribe button. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this. I, I love hearing what you guys think about this. Uh, it's a small package today. Um, only one little... Thing. Oh, wow, it's even smaller than I thought. Darn. There ain't much in there at all. Wow. I'm just kind of looking real quick. Um, 
some cool free stuff though. Um, so it could be worse than Venezuela. Now someone out there is going to say, what? It's not, how could it be worse than Venezuela? Well, think about it. Right now, you know, you take a country like Venezuela, when their currency started basically plunging in value, you know, they were printing it. But printing it takes time. Um, someone could make the argument it's just digits on a screen, so it doesn't really take that much time. Um, that's true, but, I mean, in essence, they're only, they can only put out so much so fast. Here's the thing, though. The United States has been printing dollars for a long time now. And these dollars have been spread out in countries all over the globe. And as more and more countries start dumping the dollar or dumping treasury bonds, um, you're going to expect to see those dollars start working their way back to the United States. And as that happens... What does that do? Well, if all of a sudden everybody's money got doubled, wow, you've got twice as much money. Let's go out and buy something. But are the prices going to stay the same? Real quick, I'm going to take a quick minute to show you what I got, and then I'm going to keep talking. So you guys have seen these before. These are the NRA Challenge coins. Universal is really good about putting them in uh, packages. I just happened to get two today because I did mention that I'm going to be doing some giveaways as we are coming up on our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, I've got a lot of cool prizes um, already in mind, and I've had some people send some really cool stuff. Uh, I've been showing that off and on. So if you're not subscribed, please take a quick minute, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment because I love to hear y'all's thoughts. And if you'd like to send something to give away in our 10,000 subscriber giveaway and get your name mentioned on the channel, uh, all you got to do is just send it to the address below, which is P.O. Box 20 Ingleside, Texas 78362. So, so that is them. And then I also got two of the um, Rifle Association. Um, I'm trying to look at it, but the light's hitting it. National Rifle Association uh, commemorative tokens. Uh, these two are also basically challenge coins, um, but it's cool. It's cool to have them and be able to put them in people's packages when we send stuff out to you. Um, and then I got two of the $5 gold eagles. Now, I know I get asked this a lot too. Why do you buy gold when you know silver is going to go up faster? Um, so here's the thing. Gold is small. It's compact. I mean, this right here is probably equal to a whole stack of these silver coins. I've showed you guys the silver coins numerous times on the channel. Here's the thing. Gold and silver, though, it is real money. It's real wealth. This was our founding fathers, um, essentially legacy. They got us on a gold standard. They didn't want central banks coming in and ruining the currency. And that's why they said they wanted everybody's money to be made out of gold and silver because they knew it's finite, it's limited. And over time, well, then we traded in, you know, there are gold for little pieces of paper. And they said it's the same as gold, but now you don't have to carry these heavy gold coins around. Uh, not like it's really that heavy, um, but who knows? Maybe to somebody out there they are, but I mean, to me, it's delusional. Even even dollar coins, um, these are not actual. I mean, they are silver dollars in a sense. However, we've never really used these as money in our lifetime. Um, the old ones were the Morgans and the Peace dollars, and those are 90% silver. These are pure 999 silver. Um, but people buy these because they understand that when they print more money, all resources, everything we buy goes up in value. It's simple math. As the money supply increases, then the price of everything else has to increase too because it's more money chasing less goods. And, um, if all of a sudden soup was still 10 cans for a dollar, well, when you go to the grocery store, you probably wouldn't buy five or six cans. You'd probably be tempted to buy maybe even 10 cans. Who knows? 
So little by little, what they've done is as they raise the money supply, prices on everything go up and you get less for your money. So it's not the prices that are going up as much as it is the money is going down in value. And as this continues, we're going to see essentially the value of the dollar plunge. Now, here's the thing. Gold and silver is no different. It's no different than a can of soup, a bag of rice, or a car, or anything that you buy on a daily basis. It takes labor, it takes work to pull it out of the ground, to process it, to produce it. And with that cost, you can expect that that cost is going to continue to climb. Not to mention it's getting harder and harder to find in the ground. Now, some people might argue that case, but we know from even world geology um, surveys that there's getting to be less and less silver that's easier to reach. It's getting harder to reach, which means it's going to cost more money to get it. As that continues, you can expect this stuff to go up in value. Now, here's the thing. One of these coins, you might pay anywhere from, we'll say we'll say around $250. The first time I ever bought one of these coins, the very first time, these were only $99 a piece. And some people probably even remember them even cheaper than that. And the same with the Silver Eagles. I mean, I bought a collection and the lady had a receipt still in there. She paid $9.99 for American Silver Eagles. Now, that was 20-something years ago. But we can see that the prices on everything are going up. And they'll probably continue to go up. That's why a lot of us are starting to buy precious metals, gold and silver. So I, I want you to take a quick little bit. Look into it. Take some time. Look into it. Check out some of our other great videos. Share it. Get a conversation going. Um, help other people. If you already know about it and you're watching the video, uh, you know, don't be afraid to share the video on your Facebook. I mean, you can go and check out my Facebook page. Um, if you do join, leave a comment on something. And, uh, you know, gold and silver, it, it's going to be probably here to stay for a while. It's not going to go away. Um, it may not be the next currency. We could go to a digital currency, but it doesn't mean that this stuff won't continue to climb in value. Now, none of this is financial advice, nor should it be considered as such. With any investing comes the risk of loss. So do your own due diligence, do your own research, and thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time on T-Square Talk. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Beautiful coins, though, ain't they?